Hey everyone, Cast One here. Um, uh, sorry, I'm, I wasn't on last weekend. I had to go and help clean my mother-in-law's property um, because of Hurricane Florence. Um, and then we got hit with this week. We got hit with Hurricane uh, Michael or Tropical Storm Michael, but everything's good. Um, I'm gonna start right back up, uh, making videos every every weekend, and I'll tell you if I'm not gonna make one that weekend or not. Um, so for this tips video, tip tricks hacks video, is clean how to clean and protect your own grips. Uh, that's EVA and cork. Um, now I can't tell you how to clean or protect wind grips. I mean they're kind of self self maintained, but um, anyway, uh, we yeah, I'm gonna show you how to clean your EVA and cork grips. I have some two old um, vintage rods that I got from my mother in law when I went there. Um, this one I'm gonna I'm gonna re refurbish all of them, but this one as you can see there's a water line. It must have sat in water from in the garage. And uh, it's a little nasty, but I'll uh, I'll redo it for you. But um, it's a good example to show you guys how I'm gonna clean and and uh, protect cork grips. And you can use this on any any of your rods, you know, fly rods, uh, salt uh, salt water rods, surf rods, bass rods, crappie rods, anything that you can think of that has cork or EVA grips. Um, it is not, this is not your typical video either. This is not going to be the one, this is not going to be, hey, put on, use a magic eraser and put on, uh, U40 cork, cork seal. I mean, you don't get me wrong, U40 is a great product, um, and the cork seal is great. It's only about six bucks at, uh, mud hole. So if you want a good way to protect your um, protect your cork, go ahead and go get U40. But this is another way that uh, you can protect your grips, and um, it's all natural, and I like it. Um, I use it actually all the time. I use it more than my uh, cork uh, the, than the U40. Um, so what you'll need is a heat gun. This is a Harbor Freight or a Northern Tools heat gun. I can't remember. Um, this is a reuse bottle. This is a Pine Soul <laughs> or Fabuloso. I don't know, but Pine Soul um, spray. That's just for cleaning. And you'll need water too. Okay, here's water. Um, yes, you'll need a magic eraser. I go and get um, these in bulk off of Amazon. I uh, get. I think I, these were a pack of 50 and I think I paid 15 15 dollars for them um, yeah yeah they're not as good as real deal magic eraser from mr. clean but hey they work just fine and the and you'll need uh, wax okay this is regular candle wax um, this candle wax has no wick in it uh, what I did is I went to a thrift store and picked up unscented white candles that they had just laying around. I paid 20, 25 cents for them. Took them all home, cut them up, threw them on a, um, a wax melter and melted them all down in a beer can. And um, that's why they got the shape. Took all the wicks out and here it is now solidified. Um, this is what I use. So let's get to it. Let me show you how to do it. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're, we'll do the cork grip first. Um, as you can see, I have not even touched this thing. It's nasty. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to replace all this. But uh, um, I'll just show you how, how it could be clean. You can get your rag, get your, uh, your, your cleaner. Now, a cleaner really doesn't matter. Um, because it's going to be dried anyway, before I even hit it up. There it goes. Okay. I take my rag. 
And I'm just doing an initial wipe down to start. Get all the, in this case, cobwebs and shit off of it. Okay. All right. Then we take one of our magic erasers and our water. And we wet it. Okay, and we start rubbing it down. Well, this is all dry rotted down here, and it's coming off pretty easy. The cork, I mean. <laughs> but for this demonstration, I'll show you. You know, it'll give some light to whatever's got any. It'll give some life to whatever life is left in this. Okay. All right, so we're that swipe down clean. We take our heat gun. And we're going to I'm going to dry it off. I'm not going to go too hard. It's just enough. I'm not going to burn the cork or the EVA when I get to it. Um, we're just doing it to dry the cleaner and the water that we just put on this. See, it's starting to get back to a regular color. It's still wet here. All right, so we're dry, soft to the touch. Well, not soft to the touch, but dry to the touch. And now there's two ways I can that I've typically applied the sealer, in this case the wax, to the rod. Um, now I can go just how it is and just start rubbing it down like this. I see I already got my grooves fit in from other rods. And I can just go to town like this. Or, I can take my heat gun, and all I'm going to do is just heat up my surface so it's just a little wet to start, so it's soft, and then go to town on the court. Um, This is waterproof. Um, it will not melt in the sun. Um, it protects it, seals it. Uh, it doesn't give a residue to your hands. I do this on my custom rods, and I do this for my customers' rods. If they bring them to me just for repair, I could be repairing a guide. I tell them I throw in a uh, you know a complimentary uh, handle cleaning. I clean the grip, seal it for them. They love it. I got customers asking me to to uh, to seal their, their. They'll bring me their rods just to do this um, with it. You know, I have one customer that actually prefers this better than the U40. Um, like I said, I I think U40 makes a great product, uh, but this might be better. Okay. Might not be. It's all about what you think. I and this is how I do it. That's all I'm showing you is how I do it. So I take my heat gun now that I got I got the wax on there, and now I'm just going to melt and let that wax soak right in to the cork.
I'm turning the rod. I've done this on my wrapper too. Now, what I like to do is take my regular bare hand and then wipe down, and get all of it nice and smooth and even. And there it is. Uh, this is, like I said, this is all dry rotted, but it took it very nicely. Um, up here is more the cork that's still good. And there's a difference between the unfinished, undone, to when it is done. It feels great. Um, now we'll go on to the EVA. And I do the same thing with the EVA. Um, this is, uh, like I said, this is a old vintage antique rod. So, um, it's got some problems with it, but we'll get it working. So I'll, I'll do the uh, rear grip here and I'm going to do the same thing what I did with the cork. I spray it down with my cleaner. I take my rag and I wipe down like that. Now if I let this dry, it probably still has stains on it. So um, I take my my uh, magic eraser, which is uh, got the cork on this side. We'll we'll do it on this side. Soak it with water, and we scrub it down. Okay. Then I take my heat gun and I heat it up to dry it off. Okay, I see we still got some staining right here. Wipe it down again. Okay, I take my wax, it's dry, dry to the touch, warm to the touch too, and we'll go. We'll do it in half. We'll, I'll make a line right here. Okay. And we'll go this side. We'll do it dry run. Okay. So without heating up the, the wax, I'm just rubbing it on. Like that. So you got some splitting here. You got a hole there. Okay, so that's on there. And then uh, for the other half, we'll do the, I'll heat it up. Heat up the wax, get it wet a little bit. It doesn't have to be dripping. And I rub it down. Okay. Um, yes, I, I would say the heating up the wax and then putting it on, gets a little more thicker on there. And we take our heat gun. We do the same thing. I'm turning it with my fingers. And I'm heating the wax up. And I rub it down. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. Now, if you put too much on oh, my hand, uh, if you put too much on EVA, it will tend to uh, dry and leave a white 
residue, right? White looking res residue, and it, all it is is just too much wax. Um, you're gonna just what you do then is you just keep heating it up, and uh, you, you keep heating it up and wiping it down to get that excess wax out of it. But this is now uh, when this cools, this is going to be uh, waterproof. Um, it's going to be cool to touch. It's not going to come off your hands like this. That's just because it was wet. And it's going to feel great. It feels awesome already. Oh, so this is, um, this is what it looks like done. And this is what it was. Um, not much difference between them other than this one has the wax in it. It feels about the same. It's not, it's not, it doesn't slip out of your hand. It gives actually more grip when it's wet, but uh, it doesn't get wet. <laughs> so there it is. Hey, okay. ta-da. Show you the cork. Uh, well, like I said, if you like these videos, let me know. Please subscribe, hit that notification button, uh, leave me a thumbs up. Thanks, guys.